Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Fallout. This is episode seven, and so in the last episode, well, things kind of end kind of badly. We were able to find out more about the more more devil ladies a little bit there. Yeah, it turned out she has actually have been living for over two hundred years somehow without you know look like a mutant, look look like a ghoul. Yeah, somehow she able to live for over two hundred years and then able to grow some kind of coat. And uh, the people were living in her like uh, for over two hundred years it have been growing like crazy. Yeah, they've been calling her the flame ladies or the flame woman. I'm kind of worried that how we able to actually get close, you know, how Lucy able to get close to her to actually able to rescue her father when she is, you know, this powerful. <laughs> a lot of people will protect her. Uh, and right now, Lucy also been captured by Vault Four by people people in Vault Four because she found out that they have been doing some really like a really messed up experiment. Yeah, they uh, we see in uh, some kind of video in the last episode, some woman was pregnant, giving birth to some some like bunch of like piranha baby or something. Yeah, piranha like half piranha half half human or something. And then the moment they gave birth, they, they end up ache her. Yeah, she she gave birth to them and they end up ache her. Like damn, that is insane. Also, the Vault Four for some reason get completely covered with a mutant. Yeah, people with like really tentacle thing and then a double nose and one eye stuff like that. And unlike other Vault, Vault 4 is actually uh, mainly, um, ha it's still mutant, yeah. And all the only human, I think, is that come from the outside in. Yeah, they uh, come from the surface. So this experiment or something that happened to them that make them mutate like this happened for like five generations already. Again, crazy. Uh, we know that each Vault had different experiment. So I wonder what this experiment for Vault 4 is. Uh, I gotta wait to find out more and hopefully uh, Max was able to, you know, figure out what uh, what is going on, and you know, see, see things that are kind of wrong, and you know, go and rescue Lucy. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, then please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and drop a comment to help with the YouTube algorithm. And the support kind of appreciate it. Also, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload new videos. And if you want early access to all my reaction, uncensored, unfiltered, and uncut, then please check out my Patreon for only five dollars a month. Other than that, let's go. Huh. All right, and we are now back in the desert. We are following Goo again, or Coop? Yeah, I think so. I think we are following Coop again. Ah oh, man, I want to know what happened with Lucy next. Who is that? Uh, uh, that not Coop, is it? No, I don't think so. Oh, is he looking for gold or something? No, okay, he's, he's using the, a metal detector. Oh, he's looking for Cap! Got it. Oh, he's wearing the outfit just like, uh, just like, um, um, just like the, the poster for like Fallout 76 or Fallout Las Vegas or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because uh, in the poster for like Fallout uh, Las Vegas or Fallout 76, they, they wear the same like gas mask and outfit like that. In the poster, you know? Oh, now we are falling cool. Ooh. Ominous. <laughs> she dead. He, he, he ate her. He fucking ate her. Oh, maybe not. I, I think no, that's chicken. Hope not. Yeah, hopefully that is just a chicken and not. Oh yeah. Woo. I thought he had an acre or something. Yeah, he fucking teased him with it. <laughs> yeah, he fucking teased him with that. Yeah, that's kind of messed up, dude. Lead from all. Oh. oh, so he shot. <laughs> I guess uh, he shot the coop some sometime back in the past. Oh. An older son, but he's gone. He took up with that mad woman in the hills two years ago. Yeah, we have flame woman, um, more river, right? Yeah, I 
I mean, the, the lower, they didn't have any left to save anyway. Honestly, I don't think they want to save the world more than they want to rule it. <laughs> yeah. Rufus? Okay. I didn't want to spend my life digging through dirt. I want to build something and we have the chance. Tell him what he wants to know or else he's going to kill us all. Including your little sister. Yeah, I don't want to spend your life just uh, <laughs> digging dirt uh, to kick up and sell it, I guess. So he was trying to also run away just like his brother, but uh, yeah, he's out of debt. So oh, yeah, uh, the ghoul just kind of bring the bearer the bad news, huh? <laughs> yeah, he just uh, let the, the father know that his old son kind of died, and the uh, the middle son, I think, yeah, the middle son kind of trying to also run away as well. Great. Oh, Coop is the one who killed him. Okay. Yeah, Coop's the one who killed the the brother. Yikes! Oh, I think I think the um, the the brother is one of the two sheriff thing from uh, from at the last episode. Yeah, yeah, from the two sheriff. I think that that was the uh, yeah. Yep, Coop. I just as rude as ever. Damn. Cool, now he lost both sons. You probably have to kill him too, because he gonna end up, you know, trying to um, find you and uh, kill you too. Right? Yeah. Where's William? Who? Yeah, I wonder what you're gonna do now when you run out and you don't know how no longer have any supply for that shit anymore. Okay, back to the past again. So her real name is William. Huh? That William is a girl name, a uh, boy name, right? Interesting. Maybe it's a gender neutral, a uh, gender neutral name. Ooh, she got you there. Well, this is America. Everybody has a sponsor, and uh, I'm not ashamed to earn a living. Well, tech is the largest company in America. <laughs> I like how they just look back and forth between the, the two. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she work with you, right? Hmm. Yeah, I I know that the uh, why is kind of shady because uh, a couple episodes ago she kind of look, uh, she kind of look at him funny when he do the whole thumbs up and where the uh, when the where the jump shoot and said that um did cook uh, actually able able to uh, block radiation or something like that yeah. Oh! Huh, so she's the one who um, uh, who created the, the um, Cold Fusion? Or at least the one who started to research the Cold Fusion and then Volta kind of finish it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of makes sense that some people theory is that Volkhead is the one who started the whole war. Just so, you know, they can actually able to sell the Volk. Because, you know, uh, what, what the point of the Volk for if there's no war to go inside? Yeah. I want your help. Man, the more we know about Volkhead, the more messed up you know, they kind of, we know they kind of messed up. 
The mob is at the beginning. Yeah. What is it? It's a listening device. A listening device? What did you... You want me to spy on my wife? <laughs> yeah, he considered it. He is considering it. Hang on. If it listens to the device, then what is connect you to listen? Yeah, she gave him a listening device, but what is it connect you so he can able to listen on, you know, on the other side? What is this? Your history. Over to your Hawthorne. Final log entry. Oh, so uh, I think she is uh, showing him some kind of uh, showing her some kind of like um, video tape of, of uh, some of the experience of Voltech, yeah. Oh, some some I guess uh, some kind of thing is bringing in. Damn, something big. Holy shit! Oh my god, it's a dead car! Holy shit, they actually... Yeah, we have we actually haven't seen a dead car... Or, uh, I don't know what it's called... Okay, never mind, that's not a dead car, or... Um, I, don't know, I, I, I don't know if it's called a dead car or something like that, but... That is the uh, tongue, that is the finger, the fingers, the uh, ocelot thing, um, ocelot thing, monster from a uh, previous episode ago, right? Holy shit! So they're the one who created them. I, I guess that kind of makes sense because the human finger hand thing. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Okay, now yeah, now Lucy will start to learn the truth about Voxhack and behind all the Vox. Who? Yeah, this is gonna be a huge, um, huge like a, uh, I guess we are reality check to her. Yeah. In the lab, I, I, I saw your doctors trying to ease the pain of the poor souls. Your people lured into this place. His ancestors were used as lab rats by the original residents of Vault Four, until the lab rats rebelled. Yeah creature in the video was actually my great uncle Peter on my mom's side. So I guess that the the, the next generation result with all the mutation is what happened because of all the first generation got experimented on and kind of result in the next generation kind of messed up with your DNA. I... Come on fucking Maximus! Look outside! Lucy literally getting dragged away right now. There we go. Yeah, fucking shoot up, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he, he knew he kind of end up uh, gonna have to lose everything. Okay, more song. Oh, come on. <laughs> Had to grab one last bite of a uh, popcorn. Oh, yeah. Now we're back to him. Oh, direct rocket. Dude. Yeah, the dog is trying to get the head. But still, um, we actually got to see the red rocket. One of the location, like the first location in Fallout 4, we actually visit. Crazy. Yeah, he he go where, where the head goes. Yeah, it's hurt pretty bad. Ooh, it's all bloody too. Oh. That's crazy. One storm create that much damage? Ooh. He 
Did you realize that the dog, if you, you know, it, uh, you, you make him man up, he could rip you, literally rip you limb from limb, right? Like, he, he could literally bite your neck off. Selfish, actually, you know that? Bite what you want to bite, go where you want to go. It's always... Unless... You guys said you are, uh, you know, infected with violence when you are, you guys, uh, you guys yourself is violent as well. You don't even have a chance to you know, explain to her or something, but no. Huh. I wonder if, uh, you know, she ever, Lucy, you know, after I escape this, she will ever actually, you know, uh, figure out the truth about Vault 33 and, you know, the experiment in Vault 33 and Vault 3132 as well. Oh wow! <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, that was kind of anticlimactic. Just drop it down, Jesus. Okay, so, um, they're actually kind of forgetful, I guess. The, the worst thing that can happen to them is, uh, buried by surface. And not dead, so. Okay, I guess, uh, for Vogue, the, uh, the, 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 the worst thing that can happen to them is they've been banished by the, into the surface. So, I guess that makes sense. Wow. Okay. So they. Hmm. Okay. So um, even though they they kind of messed up, uh, I guess the the vault actually are, are good people. Yeah. Even though the whole you know cult things and the way they kind of you know um, worship that ladies is kind of kind of weird. But I guess. Huh. My friend really likes it here. Oh. Um, Oh my god, he's gonna come in and start blasting, isn't he? Fuck, he's gonna... Uh, he's gonna jeopardize the whole safety of this place. Oh, they got backup power. Nice. Yeah, he gonna start blasting people. Shit. <laughs> he got all uh, manly. Fuck, and here come another monster killing. And come on, they were actually just letting them go. Yeah, I'm guessing you are getting better as well. Really? Yeah. Oops. And congrat congratulations, you are getting better as well. Sorry. Hey, uh, at least you didn't kill anybody, so that's good. And of course, yeah, they kind of destroyed the supply. And the uh, energy. A good thing they have backup though. Oh. They're gonna die? can't be a knight by stealing from people either. Yeah, but I can help people with this armor. <sighs> Holy shit, this guy's a fucking ignorant. Okay, yeah, this is a moral choice. You're not gonna like it?
yeah, his his uh, moral uh, Maximus moral and uh, teaching it kind of messed up his his own way. And uh, wow, even after everything that happened, she's she uh, yeah, this still she, um, her, her teaching is still kind of strong, huh? Oh, so that was the fusion core. Okay, okay. And hey, at least um, at least they're actually doing the right thing and get it back. Wait, where are you going? The door right there. Yeah, just kind of leave it there. Hmm. Oh, you drop it back in the suit. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice that she actually say thank you. But yeah, you just gotta drop back now. So yeah, uh, at the end of the day, yeah, Vault 4 is weird. And, but uh, hey, um, they kind of weird because of the, the way they're living for, I don't know, uh, for five generation. And, uh, but hey, yes, they, they you know, worship the ladies uh, and they uh, worship in a kind of weird way without, you know, strip naked, half naked, and uh, stuff like that, drinking their blood, uh, wiping the ass, something like that. But at the end of the day, they sell, you know, good people. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the worst that they can punish people is not killing them, but just banish up into the... Uh, the surface, which again, I guess for Vogue dealer is the worst punishment you can give. Be yeah, because uh, they don't have any survival gear outside of the Vogue, so they could uh, uh, end up dying. So, yeah. But still, they, you know, not really that bad of people. They um, just um, have different, I guess. Yeah, different. I don't have the best luck when it comes to strangers. Yeah, you can tell by <laughs> the people he met in the Vogue and on the surface. Ooh, damn, yeah. Whew. When when she you know figured out the truth about him, yeah, she's gonna flip out. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she inviting you to uh, you know, hook up with her, you know. But yeah, see, yeah, hopefully he actually says, oh cool, all right, he actually tells the truth. Good day, good, 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 good. This is the name of the knight who owned this suit before me. All right, now let's see how he gonna, he gonna, she gonna react. No, it's not. I don't know. Hey, I let you go enough to actually tell the truth. And you know, not, not let, let, let the lie kind of grow even more. So, good for you, good on you. <laughs> yeah. And unlike um, unlike the other guys, you know, he's a uh, the Titus Squire. The, the other dude, I forgot, I forgot his name. She actually understand why he did what he did. That's so good on him, right? Yeah, true for the win. Yeah, sometimes. So yeah, Lucy is understanding why he do this, and not you know, get angry because he lied. He lied. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's that nice. Lucy is nice. She uh, still asked you uh, for him to live with her, even though she lied. He lied. Yeah. Oh, that adorable. Yeah. Just hope nothing bad happens to them. You know. One problem though. Again, if you find that head. Who? Broadcasting from the base of the one yeah, but uh, if they did find that head from you know from that guy and take it back to Brotherhood, uh, they, I wonder if they're actually gonna accept that or not. You know, 
Get the, you know, find out the truth and everything. Damn, we had to track his way uh, all, uh, over the desert. Can I not able to contact the people? To pick him up? Uh, yeah, or maybe he able to and... Oh, oh yeah, okay, the, the radio thing, I forgot. But uh, I guess he can only pick up on a uh, pickup point, you know? <laughs> rendezvous, rendezvous point, right? Or something like that. Oh, this guy again. He tried to kill himself. I thought it's a big ass hole. But still, what is it with this guy? He keeps showing up all over the place. Yeah, he has to be something important. Or else, you know. I'm a doctor, I can help you. Or else, you know, he wouldn't have showed up all the time like this. That is the third time we see him. That's six. You know, this guy kind of remind me of the, uh, the Doctor in One Piece. You know, if you you, um, if you watch it, you know, uh, you, if you guys know Chopper, then you know who um, who saved Chopper in uh, at the origin origin stories. You know that um, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember his name, but he is um, you know the, the the one who kind of inspired Chopper to um, become a doctor, learning everything he can, and end up you know sacrificing himself. So that uh, yeah. Oof. Um, yeah, he kind of, this, this guy kind of remind me of him. Of course, you know, without all the lying cheats and everything like that. Have a seat, my this dear guy, um, yeah, this guy, even though he uh, claimed to be a doctor, uh, something tell me he's not that good. Oh, wait. don't have any actual experience? Ooh, oh, uh, God, Jesus, that, oh, that is so, I cannot fucking sit. <laughs> Fuck. He's just gonna drop his head off. Oh fucking hell! He's just gonna you know bunch of a uh, a bunch of random uh, a random medicine and just kind of blast it in the isn't he? Great. Again, why he's want to scam people like this? Anyway, what you know what benefits he gonna get? Possibly be said. Oh. Wandering travelers such as yourself. Before we start, there's a small matter of my fee. Yeah, he fucking scam it. He gonna give you away this fucking fusion core? Wow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he's gonna come back back him in the ass later on, isn't he? He actually carry a bunch of actual medicine or, or something. I don't know. This elixir I have concocted. Again, I think he's bullshitting. Yeah, I think he's just gonna knock him out or something. Oh my god, it actually got heal? Holy shit, actually healing! Okay, never mind, he actually do know what he's talking about. Oh shit! Ah, uh, thank you. Sure thing, buddy boy. Oh. oh. I wonder if that uh, if that town is now also you know really radioactive because of the the the, the nuke drop and thing. Oh wait, never mind. He, he I fucking paused and I didn't uh, I didn't read the subtitle. He <laughs> he said it. He said that the uh, answer to my question. Okay, so um, I might have kind of under underestimated uh, that crazy dude. So now he do know what he's saying. He did have uh, the medicine. He did work and is actually able to actually fix the whole ass foot. 
it first was really crushed and yet it just you know, kind of healed back up. So yeah, never, never mind. Did you know what he's saying? Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, do you, buddy boy? Oh wait a minute. Uh, it's no way. Hang on. It's did did. Oh wait wait wait. Hang on. Did that medicine turn him into a ghoul? Yeah, like did that medicine was it that he injected him turn into a ghoul? Is that why he able to heal so fast like that? And now he said that they don't have to worry about the radiation anymore. It's because ghoul don't have effect, don't affect by radiation just like because they already got mutated already. So they don't have to worry about it. So is that what happened? It, ooh, so if that if that is truly the case, then uh, fuck you suffer a worse fate than death, buddy. I don't know what the hell is going on here. What with the arm? Oh. Remember, wherever you end up, that's where you belong. Fuck off. Man, it sucks if you only belong in one place all the time. Thing became dull as hell. What the hell? What's going on here? Oh my god, they are dead. Fuck. Yeah, all of them will die. Shit. What? So somebody poisoned the prisoner. Hmm. We know it's not, you know, it's not norm because <laughs> we've been following him the whole time. Or oh, maybe uh, this is kind of like. Maybe this is something like outside the screen or something, and he actually he just is the one who poisoned them. Who knows? But uh, that is kind of a risky thing to do because he literally the one who gave them the, the food. And after Pry, they. Oh, I think, uh, I think uh, she has kind of warned warned him that his word, you know, saying that you kill him, it kind of inspires somebody to do, and you know, to do that and kind of poison everybody. Oh, uh, so yeah. I'm surprised they didn't, you know, uh, I'm surprised they did not uh, suspect him to be the one because you know he's the one who literally because he's the one who literally, you know, uh, said that you kill them and the one who been and who been giving them food this whole time. So yeah, I'm surprised he did not suspect him. Again, yeah, I'm surprised they did not suspect him. The first, you know, the first people to suspect. Oh, is it Betty the one who killed them? Suddenly, okay. You are congratulations. You are staying in thirty three. Okay. They are moving to thirty two. I I thought they already, I thought they already moved into that episode or you know a couple a couple, of, a couple of episodes before, so. I guess uh, she is uh, having more people moving in. Oh, I, I, I think um, I think I know what happened. Oh, okay. In the last time they moved over to Fort Thirty Two, it just to get get a tour of the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now she actually uh, assigned people who stay and who leave. Okay, okay. You are staying, buddy. Congratulations. You're not gonna suffer the same fate that uh, the other two. But uh, they, they will. The other one will. Which is not, cannot be good. <laughs> Again, I'm surprised. Uh, it's kind of funny to me that uh, the, this guy had kind of became um, set her, uh, this baby stepdad and uh, his, her new husband. I guess so. <laughs> After one roleplay. Uh, yeah, one fucking roleplay. Oh, it's just terrible about the Raiders, isn't it? Yeah, she's the one who killed her. Kill them, isn't he? Isn't he? Hmm, I wonder if he, he gonna actually move after learning the truth. But there, I'm something tell me is uh is this lady is the one who had been posing the radar? Just the three of us. If we do, can we try? <laughs> hey, 
and a fresh death. You know, fresh body to do an experiment on. Yeah. We all are, Norm. <laughs> we live in a vault. Yeah, makes sense. Actually, that makes sense. He, he right. You got our coward. That's why you, you don't want to leave. You don't want to open the door for people. But again, I really, really love Norm. Like um. Development over the, the couple episode, he come he you know from becoming uh, you know like uh, just a, a coward who sneak around when people were in danger to be to be actually the one who charging into the to danger you know to fact to try to figure out what is going on behind the scene. So I really really do love his development, and I kind of suck that he is not you know count as one of the protagonists you know because in the poster and all the marketing. There was only ever three protagonists, Lucy, Coop, and Maximus, that's it. But seriously though, Norm is the fourth protagonist, the, the protagonist that, you know, we follow uh, down the vault, while, you know, the other three is we follow uh, in the surface, on the surface, you know? So it kind of sucks that he is not, you know, kind of count as a protagonist as well. And end up being marketing as one, you know? Because I, because yeah, I... Mostly because uh, I think they just want to focus on the protagonists that are on the surface and not on the underground. But again, kind of sucks. Because Norm deserves to be a protagonist as well. With all the things that he been through, with all the, you know, the development, the, 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 the fuck, I can say. <clears throat> the, the development that he, you know, gone, he deserves to be a protagonist as well. Or he deserves to be a demon as one, you know? Excuse me. Oh, and yeah. He could have let the dog go because you you used to have a dog as well. Come on, dog meat. Oh wait, you can use him to you know track out the head, you know, because of the sense of smell. Yeah, you got another dog to uh, take care of. After you lost the the, uh, you know, the last one, because no dog in the vault allowed bullshit. Yeah, it's... Oh god, please don't make me cry. Don't make me cry because of the animal death, please. Well, I've got, no. Don't tell me you're gonna put the, uh, the listening device inside the pit boy. Because won't she feel it when she, you know, uh, uh, uh poking around there? Click, click, click the other button, turn on the vowel, stuff like that. Oh, never mind. So, that thing is like a Bluetooth thing. Oh, okay. So, that is an earpiece, not a chip. I thought that was you know, the thing that you know, stick in the wall and you're listening in. I, I, that is the earpiece. You said that thing is an earpiece that is connected uh, to the pit boy via some kind of Bluetooth or something. <laughs> Huh, I wonder if you're able to notice uh, somebody uh, hack and push some kind of like firewall or like backdoor in, his pit in her pit boy. Wow, she, yeah. So now he's able to listen to everything she said when she's wearing the pit boy. Yeah, you probably want to listen in. Yeah, keep it. Just keep it, just in case. You know, ah, oh, man. No. He had to take it back sometime later on to actually listen and to uh, and figure out what his wife is doing to end up making them you know split up and they at the end of the you know we see at the you know at the beginning of the episode the first episode at the beginning we see him I guess he lose his job as a actor and now he's just kind of like a an actor for like um for like birthday and things like that so they they not not rush anymore something like that yeah some something had to happen for him to lose his wife and lose his job. And make him no longer a, 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 a rich people anymore, so they cannot have a, enough to afford even a birthday.
Yeah. Um, I wonder if we can learn it. What happened in this episode or in the last episode? Because we only have one episode left. So, yeah, I don't know how much, how much more. I guess um, how much um, how much more you know back flashback we can learn. It's just uh, one episode left, you know. Ew! Don't look that gross. Yeah, see, he just take it back. Huh? Okay. We're doing the whole jump back and forth thing. All right. Oh shit! He closed. Yeah, they are closed. I really, really uh, wonder what the. They are close too. They are literally there. Have we been, you know, sitting there for a couple of days or something? How the hell are they able to catch up so fast? They just, where are they walking? Ride should be getting here any minute. Thanks again for letting me use your radio. That was really nice. Nah, no problem. Yeah, they're just gunfire now. Yeah, because the, the, the only sound is a bunch of mutant growling and uh, shooting and stuff like that. No longer actually have music anymore. <laughs> yeah. Man, this guy is pretty much a born artist. He be kissing everybody ass. Yep. And just trying to, you know, like please everybody or something. Trash, by the way. Really? Ooh, are that cool? Yeah. Holy shit, that is a bunch of. Oh, Jesus. You are wasting bullet, dumbass! Wow, wow, that is. You didn't, hit, you didn't even hit Jack. God, I suck without a scope. We just want the head. Who are you? I'm the person who got it off. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, ain't it? Wow, so that's it? Oh, no, no, it might. That, that, that's right, he's a ghoul now, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a ghoul now, so he... He's a ghoul now, so that's why he cannot die anymore. That, that, that uh, you know, medicine thing turned him into a ghoul. Yeah, you are cool now. Yeah, yeah. The the medicine that guy give you turn him turn you into a ghoul again. That what I was expecting when he said the the radiation no longer affect him anymore. So that I would right he, the fucking thing the fucking medicine turn him turn him into a ghoul. That's why he able to have so healing so fast. Stupid, I should never trusted a doctor that smelled like that. Oh, here come the um the rye. Yeah, they probably gonna gun you down when they <laughs> when uh, they know you're a ghoul. What 
Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so okay, cool. Character, de character development, man. Character development. So yeah, uh, even Maximus now became a good guy as well. Actually, willing to sacrifice himself just so Lucy can fight that with the head, you know. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> get it, dude. Oh, okay, that that kind of messed up. Yep, you probably should run because the the moment, dude, let her go. The bird is literally there. Come on. The Brotherhood is literally right there. I wonder if he's actually able to survive and find him, find her, you know? Because at the moment they figured out the, the head is actually not the head that they're looking for. Oh, you know, yeah, we screw. Because what's up, they could, you know, check for DNA and find out that, that the DNA is not matched with the target, then yeah. Also, the head do not have any artifacts. Ooh. Yeah. We are pretty fuck. And of course, I'm not going. Every I'm not going. vault. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. Hey, someone actually fight back. Yeah, somebody actually disagreeing. Yeah, everybody here is pretty much a coward. They just don't want to, you know, fight back. Betty? No. Oh, okay, yeah, her. I can't expect it to be her. Alright, you got a fuck. Yeah, you got a fucking fuck. Because again, the overseer is another Vault 31 um, resident. Yeah, no Vop 32 or 33, no. She chose Vop 31. Specific <coughs> Specifically Vop 31. Now our friends so yeah, you got a fuck. Neighbors. But seriously though, I wonder what is in that Vop 32 that make the, uh, you know, the previous one gone crazy and start killing each other and start killing themselves and trying to call you, crawl their way out the door. Because uh, again, something tell me they not uh, cannot able, able to open the door, so they just want to crawl and kind of like get the busted the door out, even though <laughs> the door is pretty much un unprotectable or unbreakable. Yeah. Yeah, not even there to see them go. Also, kind of sad for the baby though. Yeah, I wonder if the baby is able to spare from, you know, from the cruelty. Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna get caught, isn't he? He's gonna get caught snooping around. Shit. Yeah, whatever you're doing, do it fast. Alright. Login password. Oh shit! You're actually able to... Oh, no, you have, you know, a bypass code. Oh, this is like the hacking me. This... This is like the hacking hacking mini game from uh, for the game. Yeah, hacking mini game from file. Yeah, cool. Wow, he his hacking skill is great. I guess I was, if you know you see it as a stat in the the game, then his hacking skill is probably up up a chart because of how he's able to do this. 
Oh, here we go. Send message. No, you have to type like ready. Oh boy. Yeah, hopefully you're able to find some kind of information fast before, you know, anybody came back. Wait, what? Need to return to 31? Oh, yeah, yeah. Coming immediately. Is he going? Hang on, is he going? Oh, uh, by himself? No way, he, he's actually going by himself? Dude, you are going to an enemy, an enemy territory. 31 is, you know, compromise or something like that. And that means 31 have been playing the whole time with all the all the shit that's going on with 32 and 33. So, if you're going by yourself and, you know, they figured out you are not ready, you are... They, they, I don't think they're gonna let you alive. Oh my god. you actually going by yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, I I was gonna say like carry a gun or something, but I did kind of remember they lost all their gun with the Raiders and everything. But no, okay, yeah, sometimes I escape and I, I guess I uh, kind of carry all the, the weapon out. So the, he don't even have any weapon to, you know, carry him carry along to defend himself. Fuck. So what are you gonna do? If he goes there and then, you know, take three out, he's not ready. They're just gonna capture him, right? Right? Oh my god, man! Seriously, though. That's just... Fuck. If he's actually going by on himself, then... I can't also... You have to you know, remember that when the true Betty came and see the message, he she gonna type in that uh, that was not me and that was someone else. Uh, what I guess it's not, it's not make any difference because you know Norm is here and they gonna see that it's not Betty. But but yeah, if we go to twelve thirty one, then then what the fuck happened? Uh, I'm scared for him. He is literally going to walk to the one on himself. And with that, the fate is see you. Literally. Hello? Hello? Oh man. Huh, you would think the people would do to, uh, uh, you know, see uh, see her come in, you know, Peter, Betty come in. But uh, there is no one here. Hello? Oh dear God. What? I wonder what messed up thing we can see in here. What the fuck? Is that a Troy? We're not gonna see it, did Yep! Fuck! We had to wait for that episode to see what the fuck he did, what he's looking at. We know from the sound it's some kind of like a robot or droid or something like that. Oh man. Alright, well, that was something cool. The thing is moving along. The dude that had the head the whole time now turned into a ghoul, so he cannot able to return to the Brotherhood anymore because if they find out that he's a ghoul, then they're gonna kill him. Yeah. Also, yeah, because he's a ghoul now. Then that means that if he cannot in in inject that um that the uh, medicine thing uh, regularly, then he's still gonna start to lose his mind. Ooh man, yeah, he's still gonna start to lose his mind without the, the uh, medicine, the, the the yellow medicine thing. Yeah, I'm actually kind of happy that I, I was alright about him turning into a ghoul. Yeah, yeah, because of the whole um, foot healing, and then he the other doctor said that uh, he no 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 longer had to worry about radiation anymore. So that was kind of what I pick up on. I theorized that he became a ghoul and. It got proven to me, yeah. 
<laughs> nice. Anyway, now that uh, Maximus is going to take a fake head to the Brotherhood, and what they found out, if, you know, is a fake, things are not going to be great for him, huh? Hopefully, he's able to escape. Uh, something like that. In Season 2? Yeah, I know that Season 2 is uh, is already uh, greenlit. So, yeah, hopefully he's able to escape and uh, be with Lucy again in uh, in uh, whatever the place is. I don't think they're able to go back to Vault 33. After everything? I don't think so. Anyway, Lucy also got the real head and now go to Moldova to get the dad. Hopefully, uh, he's able to let him go because uh, she is very dangerous and uh, something happened with, uh, with Lucy's mom, Rose, and... Uh, uh, and the guy, the, the, the father, she is planning something and hopefully Lucy is able to solve it somehow. I, but I don't think so. Uh, this is season 1, so uh, I think uh, this storyline is going to drag out for season 2 as well. Alright, in the next episode will be the last. Hopefully, <clears throat> some hap good, good ending could be happening. But uh, I don't think so. This is draw out, people. Not, nothing um, besides the protagonist or something like that. Uh, there is no really good ending, <laughs> you can say. But anyway, yeah, hopefully you, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy, and if you do, then any love and support, I appreciate it. But until next time, bye! <laughs>